Hello, people. Hey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm so um, I don't know what is the what's the word. Happy excited. is not the happy excited? is not the word. Yeah, maybe exciting because um, <laughs> it calls a lot of um, funny. Mm -hmm. The trabalenguas. <laughs> Don't twist there. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, I, I can know. say I can say very well, but it's it's, it's so funny for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good. I mean, it's gonna help us all to you know to improve like the way we speak. Sometimes, um, it helps us to our tongue because in English, as you know, uh, we have different sounds some sounds that we don't use in spanish like yes. um so that's that help us so i'm expecting the other ones to connect today probably some of them will not due to the fact that they know that today i'm going to ask you all uh the tongue twister so that's the first thing that we're going to do today but it's okay. good it's good i see this that people are connecting that's good Welcome, welcome, guys, the other ones. Welcome. Good evening to everyone, the ones that just connected. Well, I hope everyone studied at home. And if you didn't, okay. So this is the time for us to study today. So um, as I was saying before, welcome to the ones that just connected. And I hope you had the opportunity to take a look or at least to try to study a little bit about the tongue twister because I'm going to ask you all today. Um, let's see, I was going to do it like, you know, not, I didn't want to mention the first person who was going to do it. So... Uh, I would like to see if there's any volunteer that would like to try it first. Well, first of all, we're going to just wait another minute for uh, for the others to connect. I see now more people connecting. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're having... Okay, that's good. We see, I see more people. Um, well, okay. All right, so do I have any volunteer to start with the tongue twister? I just need one, not too many, not too many. Any volunteer? Well, I guess, okay, Daisy. Alrighty, that's good. Let me hear you, Daisy. Let's go ahead. Let's start, okay? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Try, try. Okay, that's a good try. So we're going to do it now, and we're going to be having these activities. It's going to be more common. It's for us to start. Okay, let's go ahead. Let me hear you. Okay. How much good, good 
a good chuk chuk if a good 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 chuk cool chuk good okay yeah uh, okay i'm gonna tell you later on what's my expectation for that we're still having some difficulties when it comes to, you know, some pronunciation. That's good, but at least you tried. Thank you very much for being the first one. So because you are the first one and you decided to do it by yourself, and you were a volunteer, I will forget everything you said. In my mind, I'm going to say she said it perfectly, okay? But for the others... We're going to see how it goes. Can I have another volunteer? Yes, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Alejandro. And then I see okay. Nadia. Hmm? How much wood will a wood shock shock if a wood shock could shock wood? Okay, that was, that was pretty good. I just listened to like two or three words that we can possibly work on those. But that was a good try. Thank you so much, Alejandro. Okay. Now, let's go with Nadia. Hi, everyone. How much would, would a good chuck chuck if a good chuck could chuck good? Excellent. That was, that was pretty good. Thank you very much for that, Nadia. Can I have another volunteer? Me, teacher. Who is me? Erabin. Erabin. Go ahead, Erabin. And then we'll go with Maritza. Uh, how much good good I will chuck chuck if I will chuck good chuck good. I'm still having some misunderstanding with with this word. Can you say that again? Would. 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 Okay. Would. Okay. Because I was I heard like good something like that like like the G. I didn't hear the the W. But that was a good try okay. though. Okay. Let me try it once again, please. Okay. Go ahead. How much would? How much would would? I will chuck okay. chuck if I will chuck could chuck wood. It's not chuck, it's chalk. It's like how chuck. much wood 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 wood. So these ones are like let's say homophonous words because the pronunciation is pretty much the same one. But okay. Chuck. One one little tip that I can give you for you to sound like more, you know, native, you can connect this wood with the letter A. So you can say wooda. Wooda, wood chalk. That will be like easier, at least for me. So I don't know for you. But that was really good, Arabin. Thank you very much. So who's, who was saying that? Who was the other one? Oh, Maritza. Go ahead, please, Maritza. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. So you know what? Uh, if you already participated, please raise the hand on the on the on the chat, like on the meeting. Raise the hand so I uh, I will only ask the others that I don't see the the hand raised. Okay. Okay. Just let's see. And I mean, you should have your your little hand on the chat raised so I can see. Then they see you too. And Alejandro, you too, please. So I don't. Oh, and Nadia, Nadia as well. So I don't, I don't ask you again. Alrighty. So, uh, Maritza, go ahead. Okay. How much good wood? A good chuck, chuck is a good chuck, good chuck good. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank you very much. Now, okay, Noemi, please go ahead, Noemi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, how much wood, wood, a wood chuck chuck is a wood chuck, wood chuck wood. Okay, that was good. Please, the others, here I've been. Raise your little hand that you have on the meeting. The Zoom little hand, raise it so I don't ask you again, because I'm not going to ask the ones that I see with the, with the hand raised. Okay, uh, Daisy, please do the same thing. And Alejandro, please try to do the same thing. So I don't ask you again. So raise the little hand that you have on the chat. Okay. Please. Alrighty. Thank you. Okay. Now let's go with Jenny. It's time to shine, Jenny. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, teacher. Good evening, everybody. 
and how much good would I would chop chop if I would chop full chop good. So far, so good. That was pretty good. Now, raise your little hand, please, there, so I don't ask you again. Arturo, let's go with you. How much wood would I would chuck chuck if I would chuck could chuck wood? It was pretty good, except for chuck, because I heard I didn't I didn't hear like I didn't hear. I'm sorry, chuck. I heard more like chuck, but that was pretty good. Now, uh, raise your little hand there on the chat, please. And now let's go with Iris. Iris Hernandez Cuellar. Go ahead, please. Hey, teacher. Okay. All right. So we still need to practice a little bit, Iris. Now, Noemi, you already participated, didn't you? Okay, how much would how much would good I would chuck chuck if a good chuck could chuck good. Okay, now raise the little hand there so I don't ask you again. Edith, please do the same thing. The little hand that we have on the chat, please raise it. Otherwise, I will ask you again because I'm only be working with Janita. Go ahead, please. Janita? Here, teacher. How much wood would I would wood shock you? Can wood 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 chuck wood? <laughs> Say it again. We got a little messed up there. <laughs> How much wood would I would wood chuck if I would wood wood chuck wood? Okay, let's say it that. Okay, we got <laughs> some confusion in there, but that's fine. We're <laughs> Well, that's fine. Okay, now Wilbur. Wilbur, that's the idea. That's the idea, teacher. Yeah, Wilbur, go ahead. Wilbur, hello. Well, so we're gonna say he's not in here, even though it looks like he's in here. So Philomena, hello there. Hello, can you hear me? The other ones, are you listening to me or it's something going on that? Uh, no, we are listening to you. Oh, so that's probably, listening. they are not there. Okay, so Rafael, thank you for confirming. So it's your turn then. Sure. Uh, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck would a chuck wood? Pretty good. Javier, let's go with you, Javier. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, Rosemary. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chuck wood? Okay, uh, Andrea. Andrea Michel. Andrea Michel. Well, let's go with Sonia Araceli. You there? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Is how much good wool I will chuck chuck if I will chuck could chuck good? Okay, thank you. Now um I didn't listen to Wilver, neither Philomena nor Andrea. So I don't know if you are guys here or not, but if you're here, please let me know. Otherwise, your attendance will be like you were not here, even though it looks like you were there. Patricia, um, go ahead, Patricia. Did I ask you already? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How most good, good? A uh, good shoot, shoot if a uh, good shoot, good shoot, good. Okay, now I need everyone to pay attention to what I'm going to say now. I will say that. Oh, Cesar Alexander, I didn't see you. Okay, go ahead, Cesar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How much good, good 
I will took took uh, I will took two took will. Okay, now please, everyone, listen. Um, I heard someone, and I don't want this to be a, a situation moving forward. Why? This pronunciation or the pronunciation of this part right here. Oh, okay. No problem, Filomena. Thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you. Okay. This word or this WH question, we have to really, really pay attention to the pronunciation of this and not to confuse it with some something else. Why? Because you can think that you're saying cuanto, but listen to this pronunciation. If you say ho, oh, that's a really bad word. Why? Okay, I'm going to say this because everyone here is they you're you're all adults. If you say ho, you're saying like a prostitute in English. Okay? So you don't have to say ho because ho it's a prostitute, okay? So how do we say it? We say how. Keep that in mind, please. Remember every single time. If you are going to say this word, we don't say it whole, never, ever, unless you're talking about a prostitute. Otherwise, if you want to ask about the cost of something, you have to say how. Remember, how, not whole, okay? ¿Quedó claro para todos? Yes, sir. ¿Sí? Okay, yes, so, can. So, yes, this yes, is this is yes, something that you really have to remember, guys. Why? In order for you to avoid any situation or any, you know, it will be really awkward if you're saying if you're trying to say how, but instead you say ho. Oh. Okay, so that will be really, really bad. Now, uh, we're going to be working, guys, today with uh, models once again. And today we're going to focus on some exercises. And at the end, another practice that we're going to have is another tongue twister, which means that on Thursday, I will ask you both. I will ask you this one and I will ask you the one that we will have for today. Okay, both. The reason, guy, we're doing this is because we're still having some situation when it comes to pronunciation, and we are already in advance. At this level, guys, we should be, like, what we're doing is, is like, sharpening, you know, like, those little mistakes that we're having when it comes to pronunciation, we're trying to improve them, and obviously, at the end of this model, you will have, you know, to learn or, you know, to be able to avoid mispronouncing some words. Now, we are going to be working with uh, this exercise and I will need everyone, you know, to take a screenshot or if you're using your computer, take, a, you know, a photo or something because we are going to be working with this. Now, uh, after we finish this, we're going to have 15 minutes to complete it all, which means that at 8.30, this must be, or everyone should have um, already finished this part, okay? If there's any question regarding to this, please ask them right now. Any questions so far? Well, that, that silence is no, okay. No, no, I'm sorry. Um, We're gonna go to the breakout rooms and remember, I need everyone to speak in English and at least to participate. Cause one thing that I'm taking into consideration every single time that I go to your groups, I'm verifying and I'm also checking if you're participating or not. Why some of you are on the groups like ghost. You're never say it, never saying anything, just there, expecting the other ones to work, just listening to the other ones. 
and you're never saying anything. So that's not why we're here, guys. Remember, this is only one hour that we have here to practice. Then outside of this hour, you're only speaking Spanish. You're speaking Spanish with your family. If you go to work, you're speaking Spanish. So you guys should take advantage of this hour and try to practice as much as possible, okay? And remember, if you have any question, if you don't really know how to say any word and you want to say it, or if you want to express something in English, but you don't know how to say it, ask me. That's the reason why I'm here, okay? We're here more than a teacher. I'm going to be here as your friend, okay? So don't worry about that. So we're here to help you out to improve anything you have to regarding to the English language. Now, um, let's go ahead and start working, guys. Uh, I will be checking all of you in the groups. Please go ahead and join your groups. Ricardo, are you having any any problem when when connecting to your group? Or you didn't receive the invitation? Hello? Ricardo, hello? Hello? Hello, Ricardo, are you having any situation or any problem while connecting to your group? Hello? The message, I send the message, the message only amphitheater can can share and this on the, on the chat. I'm sorry, guys. I already gave you uh, permission to share as well, so you already have permission to share. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I I share the screen now. Mm. I it. Hassan. Hassan. Yes, because he's still in. He's still downtown. I think it hasn't. You hasn't yes. gone on holiday. Yes. Has not. Yes. Hasn't gone on holiday. I saw him this morning downtown. Yes. I agree with you. Nobody answered the phone at the clinic. Uh, in my case, I think in the first John. Uh, it might in, be. Is that fast? Is that not, not fast? Sorry, can you repeat it? Uh, is it the 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 tenth? Is it the, is the past? 
in the first one. Yes. Oh, the compliment that is, is, is past. I saw him this morning downtown. And that's the reason because John hasn't gone on a holiday because he is in, 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 in downtown right now. For me, in this in this sentence is I uh, he, uh, he has a reason because it is a it's a present perfect when you use the the verb in past participle you need to use the the must have in the case when I is I he I you in, in the in the plural in this case because it is a John the John hasn't is is the is the correct answer for me. Yes, it's okay. it, it, for okay. me too. Yeah. Okay. Number two, number two for me is might. It might be Wait. close uh, early. It might. It could it be might close early. What do well, you think? it it has sense for me. It, it has sense. No, it has sense with might because you uh, are using a presumption, speculation, yes. uh, you are not sure why. Oh. No, but uh, I, agree, with, I agree with you because nobody answered the phone at a clinic, it it might, it is a possibility. My is, is for a possibility. For me, it's yes. a good answer. Mm. Yes, yes, because he, he's, he's, he's calling, he's, he's, he's trying to, to call to, to call but no one answer no one answers so he doesn't know if the clinic is closed or not or maybe the secretary is using the bathroom we don't know i really like what yeah. your guys doing that's what i like sharing ideas that's really good so all right i'm just going to give you and sorry for interrupting you guys uh when we want to say eso tiene sentido in english we don't say it has sense in english we say it makes sense it makes okay, sense. okay. thank you teacher okay you're welcome makes so it makes sense for me <laughs> which one might <laughs> might Okay. Because it's a possibility, he's not sure. Yes. I heard Spanish, got you there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, should have, he should have close early. No, should have, no. Uh, maybe must have and might have. Must have. Must have. So if you guys want to share screen, I already gave you uh, permission to share screen if some one of you wants to, sh just in case. Okay, okay. thank you. And then? I think it's the number three is should have. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there. Wendy, I heard you say three instead of saying three. Okay. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Don't worry. Three. Okay. Repeat, teacher. Three. So three. 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 That's the number. Three. No, 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 no. You're saying audible. Okay. Three. Repeat. Three. Three with the Z as in zebra. Three. 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 Yeah, keep on going. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Okay. Um, I think I think number three is should have. It the same in the two the the, the question. Sorry. In the sense in the to the question. And most have. I don't understand. So I'm sorry, are are the others participating or they're just there? Yes, just please. Oh, okay. Of course. Okay, uh, okay. Good. Yes, I I think that is uh should have. Well you're back, Philomena. <laughs> yes, teacher, but I have a problem because I am in my cell phone. <laughs> oh, I understand. Okay. <laughs> so it's very difficult. I completely understand. Get you. Don't worry. Thanks. Okay. 
You should have. Mm, should have. In my opinion, can have. Can have. Can have. have. In my opinion. Hmm. What about you? Are we almost done or do you still need more time? Thank you, teacher. No, I, I, I am asking you, do you still need more time? Uh, or? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher I need, we need more, more, more time. time. More time, okay, good. In, in this case, I think it's must have. Must have okay. passed her driving For me, test think. this morning. Well, and could be, and should be must have or must has. No, must have. Right? Must, must have. 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 Must have. have. Yeah. She must have. Here in, uh, we didn't, we don't uh, be the non- no usamos el auxiliar en tercera persona. Has. No, because we are no. using the the no. the, the base. we are using a must the the models. Well, in this case, the, the, model. the models. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. The versus base form. Okay. Okay. It's okay. So most the... number five. I didn't know you were going to feel party yesterday. You should tell me. Should tell me. I didn't know. Do we still more? Do we still need more time, guys? Excuse me, teacher. Do we still need more time? Um, I think, teacher. Yes, well, yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. A little bit, teacher, please. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Number um, five. Should have. Should have. Yeah, should have. Should have. My house. Should have. I you should have told me, teacher. Yes. When did you use my have? Might. Might. Might have. Might have. Okay, so remember that might it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Where in which in which sentence are you having problems with? Which sentence uh, are you there having? There was, uh, there was a discussion on sentence number two. If it could be might have or uh, must have. Okay, so remember that yesterday we saw that must have is for what? For a supposition, right? So now, if we have nobody answered the phone at the clinic, it must have. Closed early. Why we're we're supposing that they were closed or that they closed, even though we don't really know. That's a supposition that we're we're doing. On number two. Now, when we use might, mm -hmm. it's. I'm sorry. What was that? Might have. You should. Might have when we use might have. For example, I will help you in this one with number five. So we have, uh, I didn't know you were going to Phil's party yesterday. You might have told me. Podrías haberme dicho. So that's a probability. So every single time that we use might, it's because we really don't know. We, so I, I could have probably tell you or I, I did tell you. Or I didn't tell you. So that's might. We have a probability of 50 50. Mm. We thought that it will be shoot. You should have told me. Hello. Uh, for the fourth one, I oh, think I'm sorry. as well. I do agree. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, were you talking about number five or number four? Five. 
number five. Okay, so first of all, let's try to pay attention to the previous context. If we have, mm -hmm. I didn't know you were going to Phil's party yesterday. So that person is saying that this person was already in the party. So this person doesn't really remember. So there's a probability. That's why we have, you might have told me. Why? Because this person was already on the, on the party. So if we say you should, it's because this person was supposed to. So the, we, we, we really don't know if this person was in the party. You know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> Not really, right? Um, I, I, I'm in, not really in my because... in my case, teacher. I I did the mistake about to translate to Spanish mm -hmm. for answer it. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. it does not really make sense when we try to translate it. That's sometimes mm -hmm. what happens, and then we get confused with that. Because remember, mm -hmm. uh, translators, uh, sometimes they translate it like literally, word by mm -hmm. word. So sometimes that's not really make sense. But try to do your best. Then uh, we're going to try to discuss it in the group all together. So we're going to have a, a little discussion regarding to that. OK, so keep okay. working to what you're doing and keep on doing what you're doing. And then we're going to check it all together. Thanks, teacher. You can have been ill. I heard yeah. Spanish. Sorry. I was translating the the sentence with the answer we think is it is. Sorry. Okay, so w which one you're talking about? Number eight. Number eight. Don't lie to me. You were ill yesterday. You can't have been ill. Don't say you were at the ice hockey match last night. Okay, okay. All right. Number nine. Okay, nine. Um, I, I have the, 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 the work in the moment. Give me one second, please. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I All right, so I'm pretty sure that you didn't complete it all. I'm pretty sure about it, but at, if you were at least able to complete till number five, we're, we're okay so far, okay? So I, I checked some of the other groups and some of them were already in number nine. So that was, that was pretty good. Now, the time to reveal their, the good answers has come and then if you do not understand the reason why we're using either one of them, we we can try to have a little discussion. Why? Because that's that's the reason why we're here. Now, another thing that I have noticed, guys, and I really don't know if this has to do something with the internet connection, is that every single time that we go to the breakout rooms, either one or two people get disconnected from the meeting. So I really don't know if you guys do that in purpose or if you really have any type of situation when it comes to connecting uh, to the breakout room. But if you're doing that on purpose because you don't want to participate, believe me, guys, that's, that's something that is not really going to help you. Why? Because practice makes perfection. Okay? 
So if we practice every single day, of course, we're going to be getting better, better, and better every single day. Now, let me just go ahead and start sharing my screen so we can all have a little discussion when it comes to these, um, to these ones. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it like this. All right. So now, if we go to number one that says, John... Can someone help me with that? What do we think it's the right answer? Must have. Must have. Must have. I think it hasn't. Hasn't. Hasn't gone. Hasn't gone. So where did you where did you get hasn't from? If the possibilities that we had were these ones. So where did you get <laughs> where did it's you get that a... from? Can have can have have not, have not gone on holiday. So can have t shirt. Yeah. Can we say gone. can have gone. Why when we say can have gone it's like we're saying uh Juan no pudo haber ido a las fiestas. Mm -hmm. I saw him this morning downtown. Mm -hmm. Lo vi esta mañana, like in el pueblo. You see? No pudo haber ido. So we cannot say hasn't gone. Because if okay. we say if we say hasn't gone, we're saying the present perfect then. Yes. Okay. So we gotta pay attention to those little details. But that was really good so far then. Now, can someone help me with number two? Nobody answered the phone at the clinic. It must have closed early. It must have closed early. Why? In that situation, according to the previous context we have, we're making a supposition. We really don't know if the clinic was closed or not. So we're making a supposition. And remember, we use must have to make suppositions. That's really good. Now, can someone well handle with number three? Uh, yeah. Okay. I should have revised more for my exams. I think I failed. I should have revised more for my exams. I think I'll fail. Okay, this one's when we say these uh, contractions, guys, we, I need it to sound like more clear because sometimes I cannot listen to the to the contraction sounds. For example, I'll, I'll, I'll. We got to make that a more clear, okay? But that's good. Thank you very much, Rafael. Now, can someone help me with number four? Sara looks Sarah really looks. great with herself. He, she, she must have passed her driving test and this morning. Okay, there we have pleased. Sarah or Sarah looks really pleased with herself. She must have passed her driving test this morning. And that's correct. Must have. Why? Because according to the previous context, we're making a supposition that because we we see her pleased, we think she must have passed her driving test, even though that can be wrong. Now, the last one that we're going to do, number five. I didn't know you were going to feel yesterday you can have told me okay uh, does anyone or do we agree with what she said uh, I mean, think it I should I have should. told me you should. should have told me okay uh, now let's pay attention to the context and let's try to find the answer now we have I didn't know you were going to Phil's party yesterday, okay? 
If we say, you should have told me, it's like, deberías haberme dicho. You see, it's like a word. Uh, how or does anyone remember how do we use should? Excuse me, teacher. I what did you mean? Does anyone know how we use should or what's the model verb should? What's what's the usage that we give to that? It's for a recommendation. For Reco example? recommend or suggestions okay or suggestions, yes now deberías haberme dicho so it means that this person this person was not in the party so yes. that's but in the previous context we're saying i didn't know you were going to fail's party yesterday so it it's saying that this person was already in the party so, you might have told me, podrías haberme lo dicho. You might have told me. Why? Because we know already that this person was in the party. So, we're just kind of confronting her and giving like the probability to that. Do we understand or it's, it's understandable or we're getting confused so far? No, for me, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, for the others? Okay. All right. With that being said, I hope there's no uh, there's no question so far. But if there's any, I need you guys to ask the questions. Why? Because then we're going to move on to something else. And if you didn't know or you didn't really understand, it's like you're going to get more confused later on. So tomorrow, for me to clarify a little bit more, we're just going to have a little review regarding to the models, all of them. You know, we have shall, should, could, would, and all of them. So we're just going to have a little review for you to remember or to remind you if you already forgot it. Now, what's going to be the second activity? And this one is going to be a little bit difficult for you. Why? because this tongue twister is going to be a little more difficult. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms and I need you all to try to say it now, but now in your groups, okay? One by one. If any one of you do not know how to pronunciate some words, but the other one knows, please try to help each other, okay? This is the time for you to shine, okay? Now, let's just let me, well, I have to stop sharing then. Oh, did you, did you take a screenshot of that or you didn't? Do you want me to put it back in or to show it back in? Please teacher, put again. Okay, just give me one second. Alrighty, here we have it. I'm sorry that I just didn't ask you to. Okay, take a, take a screenshot. Don't be afraid, okay? If we don't know, we don't know, but we're going to try. That's what we have to do. Try to. It might look a little confusing, but it's not. Believe me, once you practice it, it won't be confusing at all. So do we all have it? Uh, yeah. All I right. So. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes. I got a question. Yes. Uh, what does it mean to us? What was that? Uh, on the almost last sentence, so it was better ready. Oh, that's that's it was. It's like uh, when it comes it to was. yeah, exactly. That's the, the informal way Americans um used to say like it was. They only say it was. It was oh, okay. Just okay. pronunciating the letter T and then was was was. That's the way they said it. So don't worry about that. Now, uh, please, everyone, go back to your groups. And I will, okay, please go ahead. And I will be listening to you all. Teacher. Yes. I, I can add to my break room. Oh, you can't? Mm-mm. 
Okay, let me move this person in here. Number three. Okay, number three. Okay, let me move this person in here. To number three. And I'm going to move you to number one. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Are you guys having any problem? Ricardo, is there any situation with you like for connecting to the to your group? You cannot, you can't share, is that what you're saying? Oh, okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Very bothered about some better, but she say the better theater. Yes, I put eating my better. It will make my better better, but I bit of better better will make my better better. So that's better baby bother bow a bit of better better yes but, but okay you, but, but. I I I I heard uh a you both but it's but yes it's with a you and without you but like a like a but like a what's what why are you guys saying sorry why are you are saying the past yeah. form of the verb by yeah in the first line teacher so that that's 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 not it neither but nor boat so we say boat b o boat very butter boat boat b o t Say the, the oh. word. No, I can't. No, I can't. That the purpose of this, it's I <laughs> I need to listen to you first, and then I will tell you. Okay, I okay. try. Okay. I, I try again. Um, okay. Very bad about some butter, but she said uh, the butter bitter. If I put it in my butter. It will make it better, better, but a bit of better butter will make up my better, better. So, so that was better, very butter, about a bit of better butter. <laughs> We're having be careful once again because. Yeah, As I was yeah. telling you the correct form of that pronunciation is said and bought. Correct. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like we don't say said, we say said. 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 Yes. Okay. That, but that's good. I need you all to say that. So then I. I could try. Okay, I, I am going to try. Very butter, bought some butter. Some butter, yeah, but she sell the butter bitter if put. Okay, if, let, if, let me just interrupt you there. Make okay. that letter S, the butter bitter. Butter bitter. Okay. okay, but she said the butter bitter. If I put it, if I put it in my butter, I it will, it will make my butter bitter. But a bitter of better butter will make my butter better. So that's better, very butter, but a bit of better butter. <laughs> that was <laughs> good, actually. That was really <laughs> good. That butter is como más malo. Butter? Uh -huh, butter? No. No, I don't I don't understand that word. So butter, butter better. What is butter better? Butter better, where is that? Well, 
Google. Google what is beer? <laughs> no, where is that? Where is where is butter better? In the in the oh. one two three. Uh, the because here that. is butter beater. Butter ah, beater. butter beater. Oh yeah, because uh, I was where is butter better? Oh, butter <laughs> beater. Sorry. Okay. Beater is como ácido. It's like, for example, it's like um, amargo, bitter, amargo. <clears throat> y butter. Okay, if we're if we're talking about bitter, bitterness, does anything come to your mind? Butter. It's similar to flour. To flour. To flour. No, I don't. You don't? I don't get it, teacher. Like, uh, let's say, um, what we used to make, the pizza? Yes. That's butter. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? El depósito. No, the butter, the, the butter, the... The, the, the butter is... Is, uh, <laughs> is the butter? No, it's, 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 no, no, no. That the, like, we make, we put all the ingredients, and then at the end, when we mix them all, we got the butter. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Masa. Yeah, pretty much, like, uh, yeah, pretty much. Como la masa, esto hará mi masa amarga. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. <laughs> But remember, tongue twister. Beater. Remember beater. that tongue twisters in English do not make really sense in Spanish. Not at all. Beater, <laughs> I, I can try. Thank okay, you. go ahead. Okay. <laughs> beater, what is the mean? Uh, the word is tea. It tea was. Okay, that's what I was saying. It's what Americans use as an informal way of saying it was. was. Instead of saying it was, they only pronounce the letter T and say it was. It was. It was. Please re repeat was. this word. It was. It was. So it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, was. you can try it. So was. Okay, okay, try it, Jenny. I, I know that you want to try. Go ahead. Okay. Very butter, bought some butter. But bought, it, no, bought. 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 Very butter, bought some no. butter. No. That little U, esa U que le agregas ahí, it's not. Bought. It's bought. B-O-T. Bought. B-O-T. Okay, mm -hmm. Very butter, very butter, bought some butter. Butter. Butter, but she said the butter's bitter. Butter's. Butter's bitter. If it if I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my butter bitter. So it was better very butter, but a bit of better butter. <laughs> you said once again both. Remember both, it's not both. 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 It's Bought. Okay. Yeah. That's really good, guys. That was really good. So let me just check the other ones, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> right. Betty butter bought some butter. Betty bought, bought some butter. Mm -hmm. But, but she they, said the butter's bitter. Uh-huh. Butter's bitter. Say uh -huh. the, the butter beer. Mm -hmm. If I put it in my butter, uh, rem remember, my butter, remember, butter. it's not said. We say said, said, but she said, said but she said, said the butter's bitter. She said the butter beer. If I put in my beer, hey Ricardo, are you having any problem? when connecting to your group or it's something with the network? Ricardo, can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me.
Okay, guys, I know, um, well, I'm, I'm really proud of some of you that you're helping you all between you all. I have been checking some groups and I see that you are helping the others, you know, to pronounce the words. That's really good. We have to help each other because we're here to learn. Everyone is here to learn, you know, and to improve some little mistakes. Now, before we go, can I have one volunteer? Before we go, Daisy. Okay, go ahead, Daisy. Okay. Very vulnerable, some border, but she said the border is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bitter butter butter will make my butter better. So what better very butter ball a bitter better butter? Okay, so one thing that I have to say, remember that when we're trying to say ella, we don't say chi, we say she, okay? Like if we have air going through your teeth, como que estamos arreando pollos, she, 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 that's the sound that we have to do, okay? Now, uh, let me just now repeat it myself, this one. I'm going to do it slowly, and then I will move on to the next one. On Thursday, the last activity that we're going to have, and I'm telling you since now, on Thursday, I will ask you either one of them. Cualquiera de los dos, les voy a preguntar a cualquier persona, okay? So okay. I need... Okay. Okay, teacher. We need to... We need to... We need to have the in in on our mind. Oh, no oh yeah. No, you don't have. It will not be allowed to read. Not reading aloud. You will have to memorize it and practice it. So oh, you really? don't. Yeah, of course. You have two days to do that. I know that. Yeah, very nice it's... class, teacher. Like Everybody's it. going to to yeah. to <laughs> to pick the first one because it's short. It's no. shorter than the second one. That so that's why I will not. I will tell you which one you will have to tell me. You will the not. The second decide. one is very uh, largo, teacher. How do it's, you say? It's it's uh very got... extensive. Uh, more extensive. Yeah, it's more extensive. But uh, at the end, guys, believe me, this will help you a lot. Like, you will be during the day. Oh, my God, how much would... But we're going to do it right now. Before we go, I will say it and pay attention. How much would, would a wood chalk chalk if a wood chalk could chalk wood? Now, how much wood would a wood chalk chalk if a wood chalk could chalk wood? Okay. Now, let's move on to the next one. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of bit of better butter will make my, I can see it, my butter better. So it was better, Betty, let me move this, butter bought a bit of better butter. Let me move this because it's making me, okay, go crazy. Now, let me say a little bit faster. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better, better butter will make my butter better. So it was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. You see? <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. Easy, yeah. Easy, yeah. Easy, yeah. easy. Right. Uh, as it says there, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Okay. So 
you can do it guys okay. believe me i yeah. trust you all and i know that you can do it because we are made of the same material so if i did it why not you i mean sometimes being honest with you i get confused why because i speak french and i speak english so my mind gets sometimes i don't remember even spanish and not, it is not because oh se la pica no no no, 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 no it, no. it happens yes. it happens now that you're learning english that must have happened to you see ya les ha de haber pasado de repente oh I don't remember how to say that in Spanish, but it comes to your mind in English. That happens. Why? Because our brain is working, working, and working, and that's the reason or that's the way our brain works, okay? So once again, guys, my pleasure to be with you another night. So, Teacher, yes. When are you going to ask us for the tongue twisters? On Thursday. So tomorrow, no okay. tongue twisters, okay? <laughs> I keep but, it on my... Yeah. On, tw okay. on Thursday, for sure, I will ask you all, okay? So thank you very much, guys, for coming to the class again, for attending, and hope you have a good night, okay? So see you all tomorrow at the same time. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.